this is a topic that I've wanted to talk about for some time, but now I've actually wanted to talk about it now. So, about a, um, three and a half years ago, when I first worked at the job that I currently worked at, or I work at, um, there was a, um, excuse me, there was a manager who we, it was Sunday, and on Sunday, guys, after 12 o'clock, when you're working in a fast food restaurant or any kind of restaurant, it's going to get busy no matter what. And if you work in in the food industry, serving others and people, you know what I'm talking about. So, in this um, thing, uh, I guess this lady do a pastor that was in drive through and he would and she said oh that's the pastor at such and such church do not mess up his order as if that pastor has the authority of God within himself but is actually an authority of man you see any looking average Joe can actually have the authority of God. It's just men and women of God that truly follow him don't brag it or pride it as if you are full of vanity or full of uh, um, just ungodly talk. That is why many pastors do not know who Christ truly is because they brag and boast as if they are which are of this world. So, the problem is with that is later on, in years later on, um, over the years of me working at the current job I work at now, my boss actually went to church and she's told me her testimony about church. And you guys, I could just tell you with um, just with ears to hear and even with my own personal testimonies of what Jesus has shown me that even I deliberately ignored. Um, churches are truly apostate, and I'm talking about the buildings. That's why they are not a part of the body of Christ, but their denominations are actually their own body of Christ. They're actually just a horror before God. But that's another video for another time, and I actually made a video about it, but in time I'll make a more in-depth video about it. But anyways, you guys, um, but when I talk to my boss about certain sins, I believe, my boss said something like this, well, my pastor said it was okay, you guys. The pastor cannot define what is okay and what is not okay. No man or woman of this world or even of claimed faith can define what is good and what is evil. Only Jesus defines that. And some of and some of and some people will not like that. And that's why you find some women screaming my body, my choice with their man or their supporters next to them. Thinking that, oh, well, you're just forceful. You're just being forceful because it's my choice. Yes, God has given you a choice. But to some case, it's good that we have anti-abortion laws or anti-trans um, laws that God has allowed. But it's not through voting we um, get certain things like this implemented. It's that, or excuse me, basically what I'm saying is, is you don't want to have, um, or you don't want to be backing up these laws 100% is, is that you want to be standing up for Jesus, not just standing up for the laws and then finding out that you're not standing up for Christ yourself. But basically what I'm getting at you guys is, is that um, it's that Jesus that defines and we are the mouthpiece of God to the people. Just like the prophets of old and the, the early disciples of old and some and many disciples which are few in this world 
actually are still a mouthpiece for the Lord and they will proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ, not new gospels, but a, the gospel of Jesus Christ that no matter what, no matter that, no matter what law in America has passed that is against us or is for us to some degree, we will not be silenced. Even if our own freedoms as Christians get taken away, we will not, we will not let this world define who we are. It's that Jesus defines who we are. And here's, here's basically what I'm basically saying is I probably already said it is that God defines what true and evil is. People, for example, like Oprah Winfrey, or just Oprah, um, she claims to be a Christian, even of today, um, will say evil things like, I am a Christian, that is my faith, and that is what I believe. But then right off the bat, or before right off the bat, she will say that things like homosexuality is okay, and will bash people down by her own tongue, which is inspired by Satan, by her own sooth talk that saying that no, abortions is okay, um, you cannot, you, you don't, one self doesn't have to lose their faith in God, but you can be a homosexual, you can be a transgender, you can um, do all these things. And the, in their shows, they've actually have spit in the face of God. And even recently, um, Kamala Harris was with Oprah, Oprah Winfrey on her show. And what... Kamala Harris said, which is obviously against God anyway, not just because, oh, well, she was probably paid off because of Democrats. It's more than money, you guys. But that's for another video another time. Um, the problem is, you guys, is we have presidents or people in leadership who a lot of people in the millions look up to or have their eyeballs glued to. And I'll just be flat out to say it, is that um, truly, you guys, um, is that they try to pull the card saying, well, it's not sin and you don't have to abandon your faith if you want to do an abortion and all that stuff. If you are truly walking with Jesus, you make yourself a sinner before God. So don't go that route. Go the route that Jesus expects of you. May Jesus bless you and may you have an ear to hear.